Hi there, it's the height of summer and these little beauties, these muntjacks, are absolutely everywhere. And my main man Coops, who gets all my game for me, has just bought this little beauty. And what we're going to do, is we're going to make some burgers and some sausage out of this. So I'm going to get the jacket off and we'll get to work. I may even do something special with the loin. See how I feel. Back in a mo. So out of that muntjack, I managed to salvage this lovely loin, as you can see. I mean this was hit straight in the engine room you know and as you know out there you stalkers it can make a bit of a mess sometimes you know the front end's completely wiped out but you know we've managed to save the loin and these two lovely haunches and I've managed to save a bit of trim so what we're going to do I'm just going to bone these out because I'm going to make a batch of sausage and I want five and a half pounds in weight you might think, you know, why are you using a haunch? Well, this time of year, you know, if you get a lot of deers, you might as well just give one up to sausage and burgers because you're going to eat plenty of them in this weather. And about the weather, you know, it's really hard keeping these deers fresh. I've got an old fridge, as you can see in the video earlier. But you really need to get them on chill. So what I'm doing then, no fancy buttery. Just a slash up job, I'm going to take the bone out, dice it up and we're going to start making some beautiful venison sausage. So nothing fancy, break it down, I mean it's lovely meat, I mean just look at it, it is the food of kings, I mean that's just like the finest steak, just dice it up. I just want to show you how beautiful this stuff is. You know, I've cut loads of these up and I still get a thrill. Stunning, stunning meat. I was going to do something real nice with this loin, but obviously because that front end was shot, sacrifice it. And just make the sausage better you can see I'm just going down that bone nice and clean and then your loin will come off let's just have a look at it eh? into the sausage we go I should have had a bit of that for breakfast never mind so then we're gonna make these fantastic venison sausage I just want to show you what we got I've got four ounces of a venison game sausage seasoning now you can try and balance your own but they're so good really buy them it saves a lot of time i've got three quarters of a pound of rusk this is a binding agent it's yeastless it's perfect helps bulk it out retain the moisture i've got two and a half pounds of this quality pork back fat with a mix with a bit of belly and obviously five and a half pounds of that fantastic venison and obviously the reason we add that back fat is the venison it's an athlete it's as skinny as a soup model there's nothing on it so we need something to give it some moisture and then we need a pound and a half in weight of a liquid now i'm going to use fantastic fruity red wine and to make that pound and a half up i'm going to use some ice cold water now the trick with making sausage especially in this weather is temperature you need to keep it cold so we're, you know we need we need to get going on this i've got my mince head in the freezer chilling so hopefully i'm just going to sort the skins out which i'm going to show you quickly we're going to start putting this together it's going to be rock and roll baby so what we've got here then is natural hog casings i'm just going to take a line off there that's it you see how long it is and all i'm going to do with this because they've been in salt so I'm going to rinse it off, I'm going to run some cold water through it as well and then I shall leave it in some warm water for 10 to 15 minutes just to get them nice and relaxed ready to pipe our lovely sausage. Oh, there was a knot in there, marvellous. Take two. So as you can see I've put a bit of water through these and all I'm doing after I've given them a good rinse is just letting it go through on its own and then 
as you can see they're starting to become more pliable already I'm just going to get some warm water and it's got to be warm not hot we're going to let them sit for 10 or 15 minutes by the time we've minced all these bits together we'll be ready to go right so I want to get a move on then because it's warming up in this kitchen so first thing we're going to do we're going to mince the fat and the venison together might play a bit of cheesy music while this is playing so there's our lovely venison mince through and next we're going to add the fat element so that's your five and a half pound of your meat and two and a half pound of belly pork back fat you know to lubricate it we're looking at about 70 to 30 lean to fat ratio so i'll put that through now So there we have then our mixed fat and our meat we'll just give that a quick mix up but we are going to send it through the the mincer again you know on a coarse plate because i like a coarse country fried sausage like so i'm not going to be too fussy because we'll mix it in a minute but what we're going to do we're going to add our four ounces of that lovely seasoning like i said go online they're fantastic these get that on and get it well mixed in use your hands right next into there we are going to put our binding agent and then we're going to put in our liquid element and we are using red red go see your agent now so a pound and a half obviously it's all about weights you want this final mix to be 10 pounds so i know it looks mad weighing a liquid and that bottle is exactly a pound and a half what a shame none left we'll get that in then we give it a mix we're going to put it through the mincer again and give it one final mix to really you know develop the mycin to get that lovely sticky consistency you need for your sausage so I'll get my hands in there, it's a dirty job but someone's got to do it. Right there's our preliminary mix then, I'm going to send that through the mincer or the grinder as my friends over the pond call it. One more time, give it a mix, we're going to get chill this down then, we're going to pipe them. And this already smells amazing. Right then, that's that final grind, my god grind, I sound like an American man. That final mince you know it's evenly distributed all those ingredients and all you've got to do now is work it for a minute or so it's what the charcutiers call a primary bind so you get a good sausage when you cut into it and it doesn't crumble and what you're looking for is that you want to get to a sticky state to the point of where you can hold it in your hands and it sticks to it so I'm going to do this for another 30 seconds mix it right in and then I'm going to chill this down and get the sausage machine set up my pride and joy red red wine so here comes the fun part my favorite bit I've got my lovely little sausage machine set up as you can see there I'm just gonna take the barrel off there it be and what you want to do get your mix slam it in that will get rid of any air as you can see I'll fill it halfway up push it right down and then we shall get the skins on it's nicely filled lock it back on the machine Now what I'm going to do is gently wind this up just until the meat starts showing at the nozzle and that will get rid of any air. You'll see it's starting to come there. I'm going to take it up to the, just up to the end. Look at that. Almost professional. And then I'm going to load the skins on. So my skins have been in this warm water for 10 or 15 minutes, just lubricate the nozzle. This is a bit, uh, you know, sensual. You might want to play a bit of Serge Gainsbourg, you know, slow motion. I mean, you don't want to 
load your nozzle too much excuse the pun because you want them to be able to travel off really easily so it's a desired length cut them so some people tie a knot in the end there you don't have to it allows the air to go out so you want to be able to just fill them gently just nice and slow just let your hand guide those skins off so therapeutic so after you've piped them they look a bit like that just give them a bit of a fettle because obviously this is a hand held one or done by hand you know if it was a machine it would all be uniform but I just like to check them over and then I shall show you how to tie these beauties right to tie them decide what length you want them I'm going to go for that so I'll pinch that there twist it pinch that one there I'm going to twist that one pinch that one there twist it the other way that gives you three sausages so take that end to there cross it over through the middle and that's the start of your link and what you do is you grab your sausage pinch and through so twist lift it through pinch your sausage you pinch that when you're putting on tuck it through twist it you know it's actually harder to do this slow than it is fast just like that so you start with that loop pinch the sausage you're going to put there pinch you've pinched it through turn it start again pinch and you start that end one there we should just shorten by just twisting I think I'll just send it through there cut off that skin and there you have Sausage. now any that might have a bit of air in just a sharp very sharp knife for a pin just give the skin a quick tap and they go down you can check them you know they're actually looking quite good and that is how you make and link venison sausage so I'm just going to pipe the rest we'll have a good look at them so there you have it our fantastic venison and red wine sausage and don't they look beautiful I mean it's so therapeutic doing that linking I mean what we're gonna do with these now we're gonna let these dry you know it's not too warm yet but I'm gonna leave them for about half hour hour just at room temperature then I will get these on chill and like with any sausage you know they need time to cure I mean if you were to eat this now it would be pretty bland but give it three days four days and they will taste amazing all that remains for me to say then is thanks for watching if you want to ask any questions you know go to my twitter account at the scott reed project and find me on facebook the scott reed project like it share it and if you haven't got access to game you know go and see your local game dealer or your butchers we got some great ones in this country you know over the next couple of months there's going to be tons of game going through you know the grouse starts in august and then we go through to the pheasant season you know there's deer around so you know support them go and get yourself some and have a go at this thanks for watching i think i better try one of them cheers